The recipient of the EU's Sakharov Prize, and he may not even know it. Thought to be held in isolation, Ilham Toti has been imprisoned for the past five years by the Chinese government. In 2014, the Uyghur dissident was sentenced to life in prison for being a quote-unquote separatist in his native Xinjiang, a region in northwest China largely populated by the Muslim Uyghur minority. The former economics professor denies the accusations. A vocal moderate, he's fought to expose ethnic tensions and discrimination in his region. My father did use one weapon. His words. He tries to use his words to find solutions to problems. The problems were existed in China. It is still existing and it is causing a bigger damage. A respected intellectual and economist, he was a lauded public face of the Uyghur minority and an advocate for dialogue. He created a website in Chinese and Uyghur to bring attention to the persecution of his people. For years, the 49-year-old was closely watched by Beijing and eventually arrested in 2009 and then again in 2014 as part of a marked increase in repression in Xinjiang. In the past two years, over a million Uyghurs and other ethnic minorities have been held in detention camps. Ilam Toti's family hasn't been allowed to visit or speak to him since 2017. They say his receiving the EU's most prestigious humanitarian award, as well as the Council of Europe's Vaclav Havel Prize in September, are beacons of hope for Toti and for the Uyghurs.